Hello everyone and welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark and I'm a retired marine turned full-time fishing YouTuber. Today we are on the Texas Gulf Coast at San Luis Pass. Right behind me is one of the uh, most dangerous passes for wade fishermen here on the Texas Gulf Coast. Just look it up and a brief search will show you exactly what it is that we're dealing with today. But we're not going to wade fish out there so no need to worry, at least on my end, of drowning. I'm gonna catch some bait right here behind me where it's relatively shallow, and then we're gonna hopefully use finger mullet or possibly some type of shad, and uh, throw it on a popping cork, hopefully catch a fish, and then cook that fish for a catch and cook. There goes some right over there. Score. These right here are the most hardiest bait that we have out here. I mean, these guys will stay alive forever. So get them inside there. Five to six feet deep like in, the, in, the, in the, the very center, in between us and the sandbar, uh -huh. it's about five to six feet deep. And I'm gonna go out there where the sign is and then drag my finger mullet out there. So what we got going on everyone is split shot. That's a 3 8 ounce right there. And then I've got, I don't know what size circle hook this is, but it's the size that's going to fit on our little finger mullet friends right here. I don't know if he's alive. He's alive. All right, let's get out here, see what we can catch. Oh, there we go. He got scared. So, okay, that felt like a bite right there. It could be my mullet getting spooked. There we go. There we go. I think something's got him. Yeah, something's got him. Something's got him. Here we go. Just keep following it. If it's a flounder, we'll just let him take it, kind of. There we go. We got him. It is a flounder. It's a little bitty baby, though. <laughs> got a tiny baby flounder we got to let this guy go though and the mullet's still alive so we're lucky look at that beautiful little flounder oh my gosh buddy you are so lucky That mullet is barely kicking. There's something wrong with the SLX DC though. And it doesn't feel quite right whenever we're reeling in. Something's not right with it. Oh, got one. This guy is running. Turn my head to look at Christian, and we got a runner. Look at that little red fish. <laughs> Son, you were lucky you're too small. Way too small. Little bitty runner. Okay, this dude. Oh, look at this. You ain't going to believe this. So, this is the same guy who just caught Christian's mullet. Christian's not going to believe it. Thank goodness it's on video. So, Christian brought his line in and all he had was a mullet head. That's because he felt this fella. <laughs> it's your fish. It's so crazy. Beautiful redfish. Look at his tail. 
Look at how blue that is. It's such a beautiful, beautiful redfish. As soon as I grabbed him, he, he spit it up. He regurgitated it. Definitely not a keeper. No. I'm gonna let him go. I just wanted you to see. Yeah. There's your mullet. Without the head, that's yeah. crazy. So, so crazy. That thing's hard to freaking hook through their head. Yeah. That was hard for me to even get the point. All right, little fella. That right there, everyone, is a lifestyle that I used to live, but no longer. However, that's Army. Uh, Marine Corps decommissioned all of our CH-46s a while ago. And uh, we switched over to the MV-22 Osprey. I used to be a maintenance chief for several squadrons on the Marine Corps Reserve side. And, uh, yeah. Let's not uh, think about that lifestyle. I'd prefer to enjoy this right here. Okay, everyone, here we go. Last cast of the day. We've got a Houston Astros game to go watch, so. Okay, there we go, we are done. This guy's definitely earned his freedom, so we're gonna release him. I don't know how much longer he's gonna last, but if he's lucky enough, makes all the right moves, you can last, and there he goes. On the top of the water. I'd go down, bro, if I were you. So long, buddy. Keep it real. All right. I'm hungry. Yeah, all righty, everybody. I wanted to do the catch and cook, but, I mean, you guys saw it. There's not really much catching going on. But I don't come unprepared. So what I have inside this bag, compliments of Bucky's. I wish it was compliments of Bucky's. A good old-fashioned ribeye steak. What we're gonna do is cook this fella up. And that, this is the uh, trusty standby. I wanted to do surf and turf, but you can't always do what you want. Here we go. We'll flip it whenever it starts to juice on this side. What we'll do is uh, take a little bit of salt and pepper Time to flip it. Woo! Splattering everywhere. We've got the juices coming up now. We're gonna flip it one last time. And then that is it, it is time to eat. It just cuts right through like butter, son. Yeah. All right. Here you go. Push out the camera. Just hold it. Oh my God. It tastes so good to me. I don't know how someone can just like not like steak. 
it's beyond me. That's gonna do it for the day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Click that thumbs up button. For those of you not subscribed to the channel and you like what you saw, go to my channel. Check out a few of the other videos and if you enjoy those as well, well then click that subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. And while you're at it, ring that notification bell. So uh, yeah, until next time, tight lines, y'all.